gentlemen, welcome back to another SandTube video. In this one, we are going to go over the Creality CR10 mods. I've been getting a lot of questions. I've see, been seeing a lot of questions on our forum. Um, basically, people asking, well, what mod should I make? I haven't got my printer yet, but I want to get an idea of what's what. Um, in my opinion, guys, the CR10 is a great, great printer. Uh, it works amazing by itself. But I can understand if you want to soup it up a little bit. So what I'm going to go over today is not the fan, not the uh, control box. I'm not going to go into those advanced settings yet. I'm going to go over three simple things that I think you're going to use all the time and it's going to help your printer. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to go on to Thingiverse and... I use Hatchbox PLA. That's just my poison. That's just what I like to use. So because of that, I am going to print the Hatchbox spool rollers or holders or adapters, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically what this is, is going to fit right on the side of my spool and it's going to slide right onto it. Why is this important? Because um, most of you that just got your printer, uh, you know that the spool of filament is so loose and all it is is a small little bolt on the end side holding it together the first day I was printing after I got my printer together the spool fell off even though I had the bolt on there so this is probably one of the most useful things that you're gonna print and it's gonna be the most uh, used thing that you're gonna print okay um, so that's the first thing the second thing is we're going to print the Creality CR10 strain relief bracket for heated bed cable. Why is this so important? Because guys, on your heated bed, when you're going back and forth, you're pulling this cable here. You're putting tension on it. And this is what heats your bed. So why the hell would you want to do that? So what we're going to do is put a brace at the bottom, zip tie this part right here so there'll be no strain here, which is welded onto your bed and this part will still move back and forth okay the next one we're gonna do now I am not a professional 3d printer by any means okay but when I put this printer together the first thing that caught my eyes when I loaded the filament is oh shit is gonna hit this uh, z-axis rail and I didn't understand why they put it so close. So this was a definite must. So, you know, like I'm saying, these are the three things that I'm going to go over that I think you need. And any beginner, beginner can print and install these, okay? Um, but there are many, many, many other mods out there. But these, in my opinion, are going to be the ones that you're going to use all the time. It's going to help your printer run better, and it's not going to get in the way uh, to where here the filament uh, will eventually rub or damage this or the cable might snap off or your spool might fall off messing up your print so these are very simple things to print very simple things to install and I will show you how to do that so to download these you're gonna click on the download file and then you're gonna open up your Cura or whatever craftware whatever you use um, and then turn it into a g-code I'm not gonna walk you guys through the steps of Cura today because I just deleted my 2.5 because it had a few bugs in it so I'm gonna download the 2.4 and then on the next video I'll be showing you how to import it into there and do all the settings now just to let you know I've already printed these uh, and believe it or not I've printed all of these at 80 speed with 50 percent infill because I want them to be a little bit more sturdy and at 200 temperature okay these are the settings that I had picked a layer height is two of course uh, top bottom thickness is two of course the fan is on and um, I didn't turn on any supports on these but I did turn on a skirt so the filament gets flowing before it actually gets to the parts so once you download all of these and import it into your Cura uh, go ahead and get them printed out which I will show you in the next clip Hey guys, uh, so here's the print on the part starting to go, but uh, while it's doing that, as a side note, just to let you know when you're installing the heated bed wire bracket, 
uh, the strain relief bracket. Be careful when you install those because you don't want to pull the wires out that's connected to your heat bed. Otherwise, it's going to cause you problems. Also, unscrew all four screws at all four corners that you normally use to level your bed. What that will do is raise up your heat bed to make the part slide in a lot easier. All right, guys, so here is the print that's finished. I'm going to go ahead and take these off. Jeez. Stuck on there. That's a good sign. I'll tell you the glue stick, best solution. So we're just going to go ahead and take this skirt off. even made the support for the metal holes which is great now if you look at the quality of it there is no bubbling no dimples no nothing do you have a little bit of string right here I mean that's nothing major but all this was was just the travel speed between here and here okay let's take a look at the other one this one came out pretty good too again no issues printed the support which was right there so it went like this so did a pretty good job can't complain about it it's very smooth there's no issues it's no stringing on this one either except for this one little thread but uh, yeah can't wait to get this put on so let me go ahead and uh, get it ready and then we'll get it put on all right guys so here is uh, the mods that I have already printed out uh, just to let you know uh, this printer I mean it, it amazes me man this thing was printed at 80 speed with 50 infill because I will be using it for parts so I wanted a little bit sturdier but I mean, still, look at the quality on that. I mean, I had no stringing issues whatsoever, uh, no cracking, no nothing. I mean, this was just amazing. Loved it. So we'll go and start with the uh, spool holders first, and we'll get those installed, and I'll show you how to do that. Now, keep in mind, these are the Hatchbox spool holder mods. Uh, that's the brand that I normally use. That's why these were printed. If you use a different brand, you might want to go with a different type of spool holder. But most of the time, uh, this will work. The only reason it won't work is if you notice a diameter on this right there. It might not fit on yours if this part is a little bit smaller. So, all right, let's get it started. All right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and take this little washer off or nut. Okay. Just gonna slide this bad boy off. Do this side first. Pops right on and look at that. Good stuff. And I'll slide this on. Pop that on, and then just screw it back on. Moves pretty good. I don't see any issues or problems with it. Let me just get this out the way. And it holds it in place pretty good. I might have to sand it down a little bit or just keep turning the wheel eventually until it becomes a little bit smoother but i don't i don't see it being a problem i mean i can move it with just one finger easily no problem so this should be good so this is going to be our first mod guys that i'm doing on my 3d printer because i believe the spool is a very important part so because if you don't have it uh, turning right it's not going to go in the right way and uh, it's going to put up some uh, strain on your extruder <clears throat> and the part that feeds the filament through so I'll show you how to do the next one now. 
All right, so next we're gonna go and put on the filament guide, which is gonna go right here. Now, just keep in mind, you'll have the two holes right there that just line up just like so. <clears throat> Originally, I thought you would have to remove these screws here, but uh, guess what, you don't. This bad boy right here is basically a snap-on. So you do that, snapped on, take your filament, guide it through, take this wire right here, plug it in, guess what, that's it, we're all done with this modification. Alright, moving on to the next one. Okay, so once, once you take off the screw off at the bottom, which is sitting right here, you're going to want to loosen the screw here on top. And what that's going to do is if you notice right there, it's going to bring that all the way back up like so. Oh, actually just pushes right off. Look at that. Learn something new. All right, guys, real just quick side note. While you're doing this, uh, make sure you clean these little slots out because if you notice, you can zip tie it over the top but if you don't clean those little holes out it's not gonna do it all right so I've got this bad boy cleaned out right there as you can see so now it'll be easy to get those zip ties in there and uh, get it taken care of I've also taken the screw out which is right here and the spring as well the spring basically, once I pulled the screws, is sitting right here underneath, and all I did is just pull it back out. Okay, so to load this back in, what I'm gonna do is take this and basically just put the screw in here and feed the, I'm sorry, put the spring in here and feed the screw from the top, and it should come right all the way through. So. That's the theory anyways, let's get it started and see what happens.
All right, so I finally got the sucker on. I'm just gonna go and take my zip tie for temporary reasons right now. Push it through. I'm gonna use the end one. And just lightly, lightly, very lightly hold that wire in place. And that should do it. Get that cleaned up a little. Bam. There we go. Now, I gotta admit, this one was a little tougher than I thought it would be, to be honest. And I hope I put it on the right way, which I believe I did. So, one thing I learned to make it easier, if you go ahead and loosen all of these screws all, over, all around the bed, it brings the plate up, which makes it easier to slide that in. All right guys, so those are the three modifications that you need to make to your CR-10, uh, because in my opinion, those are the three most important things that's gonna get used all the time. Yes, of course, you can use the Fang Fan uh, Air Blower, whatever it's called. I haven't read up on it yet. Um, that does help with the cooling and the filament. Yes, that is something amazing. But for people like me who are beginners, these are the things I think that might help you out. And uh, these are things that are necessary, in my opinion. So uh, these are the three mods that I'm going to go over today. I hope uh, I was very thorough in explaining how to print them where to download them and how to install them okay guys and also um, if you like the videos I'm making uh, leave a comment down below or tell me if there's anything I can do better to improve um, I know my mic was an issue so I went and bought a new mic so I hope people can hear me clearly now and uh, also uh, if you like the videos I make guys give me a like or subscribe because what this does it it really doesn't do much for me because I'm just making this for fun but the more people that subscribe from my understanding is the more times this video gets out there uh, to more people so it can help more people out um, so you can like it you can not like it you can subscribe you can not subscribe it's really up to you but um, from my understanding it just gets it out there so it can help more people out um, but besides that uh, I hope you guys had a good time watching my video and um, if you have any questions, comments below, write them down um, in, the, uh, in the section below. And also, uh, before I go, like always, guys, good luck and happy printing.